Since the last firmware update for the Mini 3, there are a lot of changes to capture panorama for the Mini 3. Before, uh, DJI captured it at plus 15 degree tilt angle, which gives us not a complete panorama. And now they tilt up to plus 60 degrees, which gives us a full panorama. Let's see how it looks like. If you go in the XML creator, we can create the XML file and we can see the different positions from the images. So here we can see uh, image 10 and image 11, it's a plus 40 degrees and the last image it's plus 60 degrees tilt angle. And that gives us a full spherical panorama. What we can see here, it's the before capturing method and you can see the images, uh, the tilt angle go only up to plus 15 degrees. So we have a lot of space from the sky where we have no images. And that's a huge difference with the new aircraft firmware. Actually we have only the Mini 3 which goes up to a tint, tilt angle at plus 60 degrees. Other aircrafts go up only to plus 30 or 35 degrees. The Mavic 3, for example, can tilt up to plus 35 degrees. In Autopano Giga, we can see how it works. So we have two images here, which are below plus 40 degrees, and all these here are, are at plus 40 degrees tilt angle. Now we can see what we get. We have these two images at plus 60 degrees and the other ones at plus 40 degrees. And that's nearly a real full 360 uh, degree panorama. I did an additional shot at the end at plus 60 degrees with a vertical shot what we can do with the with the mini three so let's see uh, what happens if we import this one you can see here this image i added it at the end of the shooting so in a vertical angle so this time i will take all the images and now let's see what happens As you can see, we get now a full 360 degrees. Here's the additional shot at the end. So we have no, no, uh, here you can see it. We have no holes into the sky. So I hope DJI will add that in the next firmware so that we can have reels 360 degrees. So now what we can see, I took here the standard firmware panorama and then on this one I added at the end a vertical shot at plus 60 degree tilt angle so the, the sky is real complete. But even with that we can work. I will show you in uh, Photoshop how we can fill this hole here. It's no problem to do so. I've loaded the two images into Photoshop. Here we can see the, the standard image with the new firmware and this one I added just one image at the end at plus 60 degree in vertical mode. So let's first uh, work on this one. I will double the layer and then I will use Supercubic uh, to get Zenith and Nadir. That only exists for Photoshop on Windows. And now we can see here this additional hole. But it's easy to, to fill it. It's uh, very small and it's easy to, to fill. So let's do it. So 
So we use the intelligent fill function. Now we can see uh, it's quite perfect. So I will use the reverse function, but only for the sky. 5 pixel overlay. And now we filled up the, the sky. So as you can see, we have a full uh, 360 degree image. The quality of the image is quite uh, good. As you can see here. If I compare it to uh, Elder Drones, it's quite a difference. So with the Mini 3 Pro, we can uh, have really good image quality. On this one, uh, as I added an additional vertical shot at the end, I have nothing to do. So let's just go back to the, the first image. Uh, what I do here, I will add some more dynamic in the sky. I will first fuse these two layers. Now I will double the layer and add some more dynamic in the whole image. Then I use a mask. So you can see I add some more dynamic into the sky. Then I will reduce these two layers to one layer. And now I have finished the image. To use it on Facebook, we have to reduce it on 10,000 pixels. I'm actually at 90,000 pixels. Now let's see how we do that in Affinity Photo. So the, the first thing, uh, what I will do, I will change the live projection to a 360 degree projection. Now you can see we can move very fast into the image. Now I will go to this hole here. I will select the tool. Now I've selected the hole. Now I will extend the selection. It's the, the same way as we can use it uh, in Photoshop. So I will add 20 pixel. Now I've extended the, the selection. Then I will go to the fill tool. In painting, Now it calculates with an intelligent mode like in Photoshop to fill the sky. Now we have finished. If we work onto the image, we are no longer in projection mode. So I have to return to the uh, projection. So I select projection uh, to work. The, the image was uh, fixed, so I will recalculate in the 3D mode. And now we have filled the hole. So it's really easy in Affinity Photo to do it, this. In uh, Photoshop, I use the Supercubic filter to do so. And in Affinity, uh, as I showed you, uh, in the projection mode. Now we have to go back if we will export the, the image. So I will uh, end projection mode.
Now you can see we have a filled hole and we can export the image. Also for Facebook downsize to 10,000 pixels. And so we are done. So this uh, uh, new firmware is really a, a good stuff from uh, DJI. I didn't understand why they didn't it uh, in the beginning for this new aircraft. Can go tilt up to uh, plus 60 degrees. And now it's very fast to do uh, a 360 degree uh, image. So I have more time uh, on the bicycle and that's quite amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, thanks for watching.